everything here is immediately followed by sarcastic comments and nasty responses. Yep, we're finally where we belong. <laughs> don't think we don't know how to weed them out. Put a chicken in, make her gay. Put a chicken in, make her name it gay. All of Andrew's scenes could get cut. Who knows? It's Hollywood, baby. That's all, brother. I had it. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part, too. <laughs> Get out of it. Get into it. Welcome to Inside the Badger Den with the Angry Badger and Mr. Tech Rat. Although possibly just me. I don't know. Let's see. Mr. Tech Rat, are you there? I did not chew through all of the wires. This close to being a badger cast tonight i have yet to miss a single episode you didn't get me tonight super sticker shout out i'm gonna assume this is in support of you for barely making the show oh, welcome sure. everyone to the 18th episode of not badger cast it was gonna be the first episode of badger cast welcome to now the confirmed 18th episode of inside the badger den with of course my co-host mr tech rat who upgraded his computer recently so he can dispense freedom and democracy and a bunch of other fun things part of that means all your shit wasn't set up right well, yes, but the backhanded version of the, my response was uh, goes yeah, through process can. of making ridiculous rig to play a $40 game that then no one wants to play with him. <clears throat> like yeah. I suggested, we can all go back and find the, the footage. The good thing is people, you know, you know why people are too busy uh, playing old shit. Uh, oh, well, did you <laughs> hear are, they, they did fall like, out. They did the mission recently in like two hours that they had like. I think it was two days or weeks to do. That's a lot. Thank you, Lot. I like instead of gifted, you finally became one yourself. I yeah. appreciate that. I like you seeing you green. Yourself. I like seeing you green. Next time, I'll just I'll just rinse you. But for now, let's keep you green. I like that. Thank you. Um, yeah. Uh, sorry. What was the mission? Like they they did like a group. Uh, they do yeah, have you, a, you had like to kill so many orders. Bugs. Yeah. Yeah. Good. They did it in two hours. Yeah. Well, people's hardcore, and at least they are updating their shit. Um. I can edit videos faster. Yeah. See, sorry, a lot. They they do run out. Thank you. Now I appreciate anyone. When I set that whole thing up, it was just because like something you do. I didn't actually think anyone would actually be a member of it. Which uh, starting of like I am going to. I'm just going to start making for members. I'm going to start uh, turning all the all those old videos I made when the channel was first around. I was doing like voiceovers of Revan and Knights of the Old Republic and like video games. I'm just going to make them all member only videos. Because they're just sitting there unlisted anyway. I mean, I would assume the chat could give their two cents. <clears throat> you know, what would what you like shit to about see? That? Two no, cents. No. I'm giving you because, more bang for your buck. Because the bastards are giving you money. Like, what do you want? You want extra, yeah. you know, you want member only videos. Maybe you rant about something on the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go back to not having your shit, not suggesting things. That is the thing. You're getting the extra videos. Speaking of videos, let's start with one of the first ones that we did for the week that is right on top of the uh, AAA gaming um, moratorium, which, by the way, and I see you, uh, Reinhardt, when you were talking about buying Stellar Blade, I do think we should allow for the games that specifically are fighting back and pushing back against shit, the ones that, like, refuse to uh make their the manification the uggification of their characters uh the ones that are focusing on the male gaze g-a-z-e as opposed to that other one that everyone else is going towards do you have any interest in the stellar blade even though you will not be able to play it because you don't have playstation wow well my computer's cool enough maybe i can emulate it that's what um, i'm hoping for is actually now we might be able to play it if it ever comes to yeah. pc either way this was to, to say that they're very risky no. So even if you were, they're, they're, they're touching on a lot of weird things now, and people aren't going to let it happen. Actually, I like this. What this article really went to point out is before the whole DEI thing happened, before the whole ESG, all that influence, it was like, oh no, games weren't in the, the best spot. They were overpriced. The DLC, which used to be like <clears throat> full, complete games that you wanted more of, and then they would do extra, sort of just became the shit that would have been in the game that they take out and sell to you later. Yeah, bugs and again, how many how many games did we get? We're like, well, this would be good in six months. 
and then they never got good. Well, and you remember complaining when games started costing fifty nine ninety nine. Yeah, for a long time, God, that does age us. For a long time, they were phone forty nine ninety nine, and then fifty nine. Then like, now, well, we get it. The systems got better. Things look better. There's more to do. And they were like, "Yeah, but there's more to do. You want to buy that too?" And look where we are now. You're buying fucking chicken skins for your Fortnite character. The one I remember was the horse armor for. Uh, oh yeah. Horse armor for Oblivion for a dollar ninety nine, which everyone laughed about and everyone made fun of a dollar ninety nine. Why would you just give us that armor in game? I'm and then, you know. and then someone said, "Well, it's giving them extra," and that was the beginning of it. It's it's like the offenses start one little bit at a time. Um, what's up, my dog? Tim's talk. I was like, it always makes me think of I can't. It is Kylo, but it's not. I think bro just looks like Kylo. Either way, I dig it. Some people rock that work. Uh, that look a, a lot, a lot easier. Yeah, I would say the pricing issues are that is not. You want to talk about sustainability? That shit is not sustainable at all. Um, even the premium games, for it's very rare that the game has been worth that much. Charlie, how you going? How you doing? All right. So the next video we had up was, of course, Gina responded to Disney. Damn, Gina. You know, yeah. Um, I I don't know. He uh, she, she she her big problem uh is the fact that they're trying to just dismiss it and and use her argument of a first of free speech, basically saying that they as a company have a right not to uh, be associated with things she says. The problem is, and this was broken down by legal mindset, it's that she she as her characters never said anything but what Disney wanted them to. And again, the so-called morality clause that she broke was definitely broken by Pedro, who did the equivalent, or worse, definitely worse. And uh, yet, everything's fine with him. Everything's fine with him. Atreus? What's wrong with Atreus? He needs help. Uh, does he need help uh, dispensing justice? Or he just... I know he doesn't need any white diversity. He's already got his own numbers. There's no there's no reverse ESG numbers. What does he need? No, he, he doesn't need help getting bitches. And he doesn't need help with the <laughs> numbers. So he must need help uh, uh, spreading democracy. In which case, I would actually play. Um, and yeah, Rat and I, we'll, we'll be playing. Oh, yeah. We'll be playing. And uh, yeah, OBS, I heard Jeremy, he's like, uh, on Geeks and Gamers, he's like, OBS is really confusing when you don't know what you're doing. But then when you get into it, it is confusing. I find that shit confusing. So I use Stream Yards, even though he hates Stream Yards and it constantly crashes his computer. I don't have that relationship with it. Funny. Speaking of, as we were just talking about it, you would, you be shocked? <laughs> would you be shocked if people think that uh, because we like pretty women and because we don't capitulate to all this, uh, that uh, they think, yeah, we're incel gamer dudes and they don't like us? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'm children by accident and it's all a cover because I'm an incel. Oh, we'll talk about that. Uh, I feel so bad for <laughs> when we get to the Warhammer people. Just just how uh like every time they go to talk about what's happening they have to preface something of like i'm married with kids and i don't like this or or i'm a woman and i liked it the way it was like basically don't call me an incel don't call me a bigot even though they need to learn to embrace the term as hypno and his bigot army have done just take it back that's our word now it's careful Getting close. I'm program whizzing the juice. I, I don't even know what that means anymore. I believe OBS was the first program I installed on the PC once I got it all turned on. I feel like it just depends depends on what uh, depends on what you like best. I mean, I use it for like capture if I'm doing something from something else like the Xbox. Here, here, all 15 people go check out. So you give a man a wrench and he starts plugging his Twitter. Go ahead and check out Problematic White Guy. Check out the amazing alien invasion type shit that he posts. It is fun. It is a wealth of, of uh, weaponized autism, as Gary always likes to say. How's that Fallout uh, thing going in your eyes? Uh, did, did you Have you amended, uh, now that we know exactly where it's going, that we've got a season two, do you still feel the same about the Fallout TV show? Feel? What's that? Do you have but, feelings? Do you have thoughts? Uh, my thoughts, Are you alive? I... I watched it a, a second time. I don't know if I mentioned this or yeah, not. Yeah, I think I've seen it like three times at this point. I watched it a second time with my kid, and and it's it 
because the first time you're looking at everything, right? And so the yeah. second time you watch it and you're like really paying attention, it is better after you watch it again. I just, uh, you know, they change what they change. I don't think it's all dirty DEI stuff, but I, it's fine. It's a still a, it's still a, what did I say? A six? six yeah. I, oh, I mean, I said a six out of 10. I, I sort of wavered and then I settled on six and I've yet to change it. Um, the problem is, a lot. I thought it was like eighty percent of the shit that everyone pointed out, with the exception of the thing we're about to talk about right now, which straight up is a DEI thing. And you, you can all know. Put put the name of this person in the chat if you think you know what we're about to talk about in regards to follow up. But like all the other problems are really the Maulers. Which boy, it was hard to watch Open Bar. It is unfortunately they they made a choice with Fallout, and that is to just make it make it live action Fallout, and every single character decision and thing is a reference and or direct game mechanic, including the famous uh, him running in front of the the Enclave turret and every single bullet missing. That's a reference to the first Fallout with with the turrets not having great accuracy, and it's like okay, that's it. They made a choice. And I realize that's also why I like it because I just like it for the game connections and I am willing to accept all that dumb shit, which is why I, I can't recommend it to people that don't know the games. I just think there's not enough there for you. And in my conversations with people that don't know the games, that's sort of what the takeaway has been that like, it's all right, but like they miss the majority of the meat because it's all you need. You have no reference for it. Yeah. Well, Something you didn't need a reference for, and uh, shout out to Kyle Corwith, who even though I did not get to stream with him on Hardcut Reviews, because they also were having technical issues, shockingly. Uh, I do think we're going to be on Off the Covers together, so that'll be fun. Dane, the they, them from the Brotherhood of Steel. This is the one that everyone pointed out, everyone talked about. Yes. Uh, Fallout has had some certainly gay characters, and they might arguably have had some they thems in the games but not the brotherhood of steel super zealot monastic like and if you look at all the brotherhood of steel again all their they all just look wafy and i get it's recruiting and still still this is the one that even people that don't know what's up are like so what's up with that character and then it has to be explained yep yeah uh, but also, and you know, shout out to um, Vex Le Electronica who pointed this out. It's like, is this character a straight up DEI insert? Yes. That being said, boy, at least they weren't fucking super, super overt about it. Um, right. At no point did they mention their lover or yeah. such. There was no uh, no abuse towards the in fact, uh, sort of based. I mean, we've there's been plenty of time now. This person injures themselves out of fucking cowardice. Oh, oh, so the woman pretending to be a man didn't have the coward to actually go to war. So that sort of was like, okay, yeah, that's actually sort of based. Out uh, here and mutilating all all, themselves, huh? Yeah, well, that's another thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and uh, all in all, at the end, they end up uh, just supporting the Maximus character. So say what you want. That was at least done better than you probably would have yeah, thought agreed better than you probably would have thought uh the problem with all of this of co uh, of course is i say the more that you do it and we talk about this too is uh these game companies one they're they're big giant moving ships so it takes forever for them to realize there's a problem when they do it takes forever to, for them to stop or or change Adjust, course yeah. if they do at all right right most of them go right on through and then they sink because they cannot tank the losses. And uh, that's what we have here, of course, with IndyCorp Ascendant Studios. They laid off nearly half of their employees due to Immortals of Avium sales. A big disappoint. They had emotional damage. And uh, that's what happens. I mean, maybe no relation to that judgmental Kim Blair insert right there. I just, they're all in Kim Blair inserts all of a sudden. I don't know. I have I no know. idea what this game is about. That's probably why it didn't right. sell. But it wasn't for me, I'm sure. Sell, uh, because it was definitely not made for you. It was definitely not made for you. And um, that's that's for a reason. I was going to say something that was made for all of us in this. I don't have to bring anything up on it. But uh, it was Drinker reacted to that Fallout, to the Fallout hubbub. And I think it's great that um, the one funny, funny, interesting moment was the fact that even he and Mahler were split. He and Gary were split. Now, I think a big part of 
a lot of people's criticisms and uh, problem with Fallout is a couple different folds. One, if you are not familiar with the games, like Gary, and I, I it, it, even though Mahler says he's played the games, and I believe him because he seemed familiar with New Vegas, it's like, bro, did you miss the point that like capitalism versus communism is a huge point in the games and the satirization of it? And they just kept applying everything with the 2024 lens, which I get. And I'm not even saying some like little woke writer might have been in there meaning it that way, but it's also like that's that was going to be in the games no matter what if you did it, if you did it accurately. Yeah, there is a lot of propaganda shit, and it's part of the game. That's what you're playing, but that's a different time, and yeah, it comes off weird. And like you said, if you don't know the game, it's just going to come off even stranger. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and this is also what I like. Yeah, at least there's something for us to uh, to argue about again and, like, be passionate back. I'd rather a bunch of Fallout fans who – this is, like, the equivalent of Star Wars fans arguing with you. It's fine. I'd rather have that than just straight-up destruction of shit. Uh, Ak Ak, what's going on? He's Scottish. Did you know that? Did you picture oh. him with a Scottish accent? Well, I mean, you will now. I guess, yeah. And, uh, yeah, dude, that's what I'm saying, Johnny, is at least it wasn't another Halo at least it wasn't a fucking like, which I still bounced out at the fourth episode. Just could not take any more of it. Um, well, I guess we should get into it because this is the one that took me. You can't get out of it. Because <laughs> you can't get it. This is the one that took me by surprise. The general actually had a, a big week with several like this one almost hit ten thousand eventually, or like the whole Warhammer shit. I, yeah. I'm a Warhammer channel now, even though I can't pronounce any of the goddamn names. Uh, custodies. I know how to say custodies now instead of custodies. Uh, you said quite a few things this week. <sighs> it's a it's a process. It's a process. Yeah. Thankfully, I never pretended to know what I was talking about beyond the fact that, like, hey, hi DEI, I followed you onto a no battlefront, <laughs> uh, and in this case. It's one of those ones where and now I'm 100% confirmed why they've come for Warhammer. And it is Henry Cavill in the TV show, ultimately. But let's start at the beginning. Uh, uh, before everyone's balls dropped off. Games Workshop. And this is a retcon because I saw a lot of cope after this. But after doing, yeah, custodies. Yeah. Um, <laughs> custodies. Even though it doesn't fucking look how it's pronounced it does look no. like it would be custodis like adeptus custodis but adeptus custodies and then everyone just says custodies can we get another whatever. e please whatever that's fine it's for, bro there's so many hard to pronounce words in that shit like you will your tongue will be tired quickly and not what giggity. it normally would be yeah giggity. okay so there th this is a retcon like everyone posting all the the lore bits from it it is it's it's it, it was from boys it was from the male sons of the nobility of earth that go on that didn't be like the uber like better than space marines that protect the emperor so it's like yeah of course first that alone right and drinker sort of goes about it uh in a video that i'm reacting to of his he covers it thankfully because he is also a warhammer dude and uh it, it yes it is a notch in their belt, but it's also something that Marvel does. Something that Marvel does. And speaking of Marvel, this video got more traction than I thought. I did think it was going to be a throwaway, even though I wanted to update it. Because, like, every once in a while, you want to see what Marvel's doing. And they keep fucking changing their mind. Um, oh, good. I made an act act. So he's a Jim Beam tonight. Good. Good. He, he left the J off of Jack Daniels and said act. And so now I always act act him. It is sad. I always prefer Jack over Beam. That's okay. Well, they are good friends. They are good friends. They are good friends. And in a pinch, sometimes you can't tell the difference. So Anthony Mackie describes Captain America Brave New World as a clear reset. And mind you that this fucking movie has been reset like two or three times. All of the new stuff has. Five months plus of reshoots. Um, again, confirming that that sort of first go around of this was going to be a January 6th analogy with uh, Harrison Ford's recasted, recasted um, Thunderbolt Ross, and that he is, you know, he's not, he's not a Trump analogy. Thank you. Uh, the title is so. What title? What's talking about? I don't know. It could be. Anything. I'm going to be like Jeremy from uh, Geeks and Gamers, where when someone says something, I'm going to immediately take offense. What title? My title? You're talking about my title? And then someone says, no, Jeremy, I was talking about it. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Do you have any, up. do you have any want whatsoever for any of this shit? And by the way, no, Bucky's not going to be in it. It's his new Latine. We're, we're saying Latine now, right? 
It's his new I, Latin uh, <laughs> Latin Latin Side Falcon. Kick. I don't. Yeah, no, I don't, see, that's why I don't I'm care anymore. I'm covering this for, for posterity, and I'll, we'll, I'll mention it now because I respected you all enough not to even do a fucking video about it. All right, but they have changed. They have changed Blade yet again. I shit you not. It is now going to be in modern day. It still has his daughter as the key to everything, and it still has a female villain hunting for her, but now it's going to be in modern times, and it's supposedly going to link up with a Midnight Suns movie. Actually spelled Yay. Suns until they change it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want. I don't want. Just give me my huge Ackman in the goddamn Wolverine outfit. Have huge Deadpool. Ackman. Have have Deadpool wipe out like, a bunch of the MCU and then call it a day. Call it a day. Is it too much to ask? I don't know. Probably. It is. Everything you want is too much. Probably. You need to do better. That's just, it's just like they really think they are doing better. And maybe they are. I don't maybe that's their survive till 2025. Maybe we are we are just gonna be blown away by uh also confirmed that a hundred percent, a hundred percent switched that uh, Julia Garner, uh, Silver Surfer, is going to be the one leaving Norn Rand behind, and she's going to be taking the burden of being Galactus's uh, herald. So, uh, well, but God th yeah. bless her. Thank God bless her. her. God bless her, and thank you, uh, Mr. Rat. Uh, God bless Gothics. Uh, Black girl gamers will not keep goddamn name out your mouth. Uh, yeah, they they keep doubling down on oh, Gothics was never one of us. Gothics was never one of even though she never said she was a member of their consulting group. She said she was a member of their gaming community, which she was until refused to turn uh, herself an idol, you know, her skin color into an idol and hate white people just because. Uh, shout out Charles. Uh, yeah, so they they keep going on, and of course. I think Gothic's pretty thoroughly dunked on them with, I mean, she made a fucking documentary basically at this point. So shout out to her. Shout out. Did you want me to shout it out or were you just no. the, the yeah. general? In fact, hold on. Shout out to her. Now say shout out Gothic's. Shout out Gothic's. See, I didn't really want you to do that. I was just joking. Why'd you do that? It's embarrassing. Uh, yeah. Silver Surfer is stunning and brave. No and idea what's embarrassing to me. It actually sort of is nothing's embarrassing to you at this point. That's the problem. That's the how do you shame the shameless? You can't. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe that's actually the good thing. You must you must evolve. You Sad gotta give it all up before you can go. <laughs> I hope. I hope that's I hope that that's what he was going for because that's totally how I heard it. And everyone was like, did he just do a blood, a blood sport? Yes. Yes, he did. Shout out Gothics. That's how lore happens right now. And everyone's just going to be saying it. Uh, Gothics, we speak your name. We speak your name. I had, speaking of speaking names, Forbes, we speak your name. I have no idea why you decided to do this for no fucking reason. Out of the blue, dime out Disney. But you did. And I'm thankful for it. Forbes came out with this lovely, lovely article basically showing that Disney, despite all their straight up lies, they never recouped their uh, cost for buying Star Wars from George. Broke ass bastards. Uh, Charles, I'm like over this DI crap you sigh every time. Yeah, bro, I'm over it too. I am over it. Uh, even with like when we get to the Mech Warrior one, it was like, fuck! Every single franchise. Like it's sort of like we're hyperbolic about, oh, they're coming for all the things. But like, bro, they've come for Pokemon Go. They've come for fucking all the tabletops. It's like, what's left? What's left? Literally, what is left? C cards, playing cards. They're coming for the playing cards next. Monopoly. Monopoly is the next DEI. So shit you not. The, 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 the Monopoly fans will be called bigots. The, the... <sighs> that Sorry, actually man. might happen. That actually might happen. Okay, but we're let's let's meme on Disney just for a little bit because I loved all their lying. And um we, I, I just want to go down here to when they get to the. Sorry, I know everyone hates scrolling. This is very unprofessional. I'm bad. I'm bad. There we go. What? Look at the disparity. Of course they did. Look at the disparity between the Disney's box office share, what they actually pay, and then their. And it's like, and yes, here's Solo. Shout out to Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers. Solo did, in fact, lose money. 
Oh, they already made a feminist monopoly. Oh no, now I sort of want to get it. Now I sort of want to get it just for the just for the lulls. Just for the lulls. Hail, hail. Shout out, Idaho Mike. What's up, bro? I saw you. It's funny. Just as someone, unless I'm confused, I believe it was you. Uh, just as someone who was like, yeah, fuck you and your shitty AI thumbnails. Idaho Mike was like, hey man, I really like your thumbnails. They're really getting. By the way, I will just say that like 90% of the comments are like, hey, I always like your thumbnails, as opposed to the one or two, like, fuck you, AI. Sk Skynet likes me best. Skynet likes me best. I fucking hope Haters so. Bly. I'd be saying it. I'd be saying it three times right now. That'd be sick. The, 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 the gothic is going to be easy on the eyes for you. Well, there is for GraphWeb apparently. GraphWeb, he said I had to say it four times, and there was a there was a jig that I had to do that he wouldn't Whoa. tell me what the jig was. Yeah, but anyway, this is just to go that the jig is up for Disney. They it, it lost money, and then you get into um. Yeah, see, we're not racist. We're very diverse. We're very open. There's no gatekeeping in my bed. I'll tell you that right now. Well, there's some gatekeeping. <laughs> not uh, not along racial lines, though. Um, the fact that they've had the sort of the, 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 the cold, hard facts, and I think what, what really dimed them out in a lot of this was tax. I mean, taxation is theft, but at least those tax records go to show you that, yeah, no, no, no. They have not made a profit. And then when you start going in their overall losses for Disney Plus, where I think in total, bro, they've lost like $30 billion with Disney Plus. God bless. Thank, uh, thank you, Charles. That is exactly the point of what I try to go yep. with. I try to think of what the theme of the video and I try to make like a mini little comic encapsulating that with a badger. That's all it is. We've That's discussed all it is. the use People of AI. People get so upset <clears throat> by it. The amount of videos that this man puts out, imagine asking I gotta see what you did to say. draw this shit. You did say something nice, and I thank you for it. Yeah, no, I fuck those people. But whatever, Idaho. You did say something nice just now that I replied to, so I thank you for that one instead. To go look. Take the win, man. I just take the win. Just go with it. Uh, no, <laughs> give me back my son. I, I don't know. I don't know why Beardo Beardo doing that sort of went into my head. Uh, the outlaws. Do you have any? I, every time we talk about this, we go back to it. This is supposed to be. Thank you. See, you just say you're welcome. You just go with it. I know it's recognizable because he's got the uh, Jay Beardo, and I can't tell what the other one. I'm gonna have to zoom in on that. If you're not watching Geeks and Gamers in the morning, you're missing out on all the best lore for our communities. Butter dishes, everything is Geeks and Gamers in the morning. Please. Definitely check them out. It's worth it waking up early enough. Even I wake up early enough to watch it sometimes, even though it's the devil's time early in the morning. So uh, there's a couple of these Star Wars Outlaws. This is the first one. That story trailer, just like the Acolyte trailer, got ratioed. Ratioed. To, like, I don't even know what it is at this point, but it's it's high. It's high. It's not good, man. That's what it was. Thank you, Idaho Mike. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of retarded. I did a all this has happened before and all this will happen bef uh, again. And my boy, Idaho Mike here, he called out that it was, in fact, a BSG. Talk about good television shows that I wish people would watch. You know, um, I've seen the box set recently on Blu-ray, and I think I'm going to grab it. Oh, dear God, yes. Dear God, and, uh, and I'll eat crow. One of the, and I think even the original actor who played Starbuck in uh, the original Battlestar yeah. Galactica, yes, um, Katie Sackoff is a gender swapped Starbuck, and she might be the superior Starbuck. Uh, it, it, it might be one of the rare times where a gender swapped character actually turned out for the better, just for dynamics and storytelling. And fucking A is Katie Sackoff, a boss bitch. And I also say with uh, Gary, I think it said this had you cast Katie Sackoff as Captain Marvel? We'd be looking at a very different MCU. We'd be looking at a very different MCU right now. Well, amongst a litany of other writing decisions and choices, but just just as a choice of actress and likability and able to do tough with attitude without being ooh cunty, uh, Alyssa Mercanti. Uh, it, it's oh, she's real good. Wasted in the Mandalorian, of course. Uh, what's getting like everything in general? Some things are getting better. Some things are getting worse. I knew that would trigger everyone. Bro, even Dirk Benedict is the one that said he thinks that she's better as, as a character. So it's like, I, respect, respect, but I, I definitely enjoy. What, how about that? I enjoy. Okay. Yeah, have to be better. It, it I enjoy be what they did on its own merit. They different, right? Like they were told yeah. or they were given different you know, roles to play. Yeah. Katie, I think we will be seeing uh, more. 
<laughs> we will be seeing more from. Uh, yeah, I, I don't. I never get tired. I never get tired of that. D Dirk Vader. <laughs> It uh, the either way, uh, <laughs> some of those names do sound like uh, <laughs> I'm the Dirk Diggler. Um, all right, so so moving forward in the because this Warhammer the timeline, it's worked out exactly like every timeline. So the ESG infiltration starts. They do something that's unpopular. And the fans go W T F. All right. Um, oh, see, thank you, Bly. And uh, shout out, shout out. Okay, and then uh, after fans go with WTF and everyone tries to copium, then people with a little bit of knowledge start uh, talking out. And so then we saw here, Isaac, uh, author Isaac Young explains, you know, originally I want to say this article said that he was a Warhammer and it just turns out he's like the tabletop. Either way, enough to comment on that. No, this is 100% done for 2024 reasons. For, for all the the nefarious reasons you would uh think but um it's 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 done for very specifically not not the the oh it's just done for inclusivity because as we point out most of these games were already open to whoever actually wanted to play it there, there was no vast conspiracy stopping queer or women or anyone from playing warhammer beyond it maybe just didn't appeal to them same thing with all the things that they say weren't inclusive yeah nobody stopped anybody from doing anything I never learned how to play D and D or Magic: The Gathering See? until I was an adult. Yeah, yeah, and even then, it's uh, questionable how much I actually. I've actually played tabletop with like a game master, and uh, as Irwin, who was playing Knights of the Old Republic, finally or looking, I was like, I didn't realize this is basically Star Wars D and D. It's like, yeah, it is, and you know what? God bless you, R two. That's how you take the the L. Look, obviously, I don't actually think she's better. I think she's great in her own right, and they everyone adds like their own little thing to it but uh i i think i think uh the point was is that i think what they were all trying to say is that the later version of starbuck just had more to do i think all the characters had better better arcs i just think it's a better series uh which is oddly enough that's what i wanted halo to be i wanted halo to be battlestar galactica level military drama in space and just yeah. add spartans it's all you fucking had to do. And the mystery and lore of a super zealot uh, alien force and then the mystery of the alien relics and who are the forerunners and blah, 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 nope. blah, blah. But the nope. best I can do is nope. Naked Chief. Best I could do is Naked Chief and feelings in hallways and all There's these an alien Spartans chick. never wear their armor and they all remove their feeling inhibitor chips that they shouldn't have had to begin with. And uh, yeah, yeah. And you know what? Uh, I, I did see... Um, We'll talk about Fallout a little bit more after this. We're almost done getting through this. Uh, <clears throat> so speaking of almost done, we 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 did mention her. Let's let's remember, children. It's uh, pronounced Mercanti. Uh, she is basically stalking Mark Kern, hereby known as Grums. We know this because that was sort of the source of his April Fool's joke, where he pointed out that she continuously. Uh, follows him and unfollows him, blocks and, un and unblocks him so that she can, um, you know, talk shit. snarkily respond. Yeah, not that good type of snark that you like, but the bad talk shit. I uh, love snark. <laughs> and so I, I just, yeah, she won't let it go. Oh, and shout out, she watches hypnotic streams. She, she, she responded and posted screen captures where Leona was there. Oh, sorry, Leon, uh, and, and all the uh, other the the bigots. So she watches the shows. She does. She watches. Probably watches. If she, hey, shout out, Alyssa. If you're watching, if you're watching, you want to come on. I, I promise you, I'll never call you Mercanti again. If you want to give me the correct pronunciation, but until then, I do believe it is spelled Mercanti. I do. Uh, Grum. Yeah, I've heard that Mercanti and it's grums grooms i've heard them say it a couple different ways i think saying it elongated like he does have two m's in it i don't know maybe he's just joking um if nothing else to show him anything it'll follow okay i do want to point about this halo didn't get really anyone playing the games again um yeah see i don't that's that's maybe not the best name that's why i was saying i think grums is grooms is that uh, grum sounds maybe better than <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if he really wants to say that fallout is getting people to play the games again i yeah. am now i've i had them all on console i bought them all again super cheap obviously for my now beautiful pc um because leon has long gorgeous luscious flowing hair and he has super bad takes 
so it's fun to to like call him gay big gay and to say that he's like transitioning and shit like that and remember when you could talk shit to your Jesus. friends yes. this is those old school locker room talk where we all talk shit to each other and that's what yeah, that is your mama that's jokes and shit yeah and by the way, I don't know if he's going live, but he also streams tonight. So you are all welcome to always abandon me and watch him. When we're done with here, of course, always raid Leon. Uh, hell, hell, I laid, I, I, I raid him every single Friday, and he even lets me on sometimes. I hit three thousand uh, subs thanks to him and his audience. So shout out to Leona, shout out to Leona. Hey, did you, uh, you just hear? Talk to everyone's talking about uh, Fallout Four. It don't do it yet. It recently became the. I'd have to check if the wording was of all time, but like as of right now, like a highest selling game <clears throat> in the UK. Cool. I don't think it was of cool. all time, I, but that's that's crazy. I mean, all of the fallouts are 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 hitting on the streams right now, and uh, like like charting, and that's great. Like I said, I've gone all the way through now at this point. I've beaten <clears throat> Fallout Three again, the Game of the Year edition. With the exception, I have one last open world quest. I have to do the Republic of Dave uh, quest, but it's like I remember it pretty clearly. And then I did the Anchorage, Operation Anchorage, and then I've got, I'm have got i going through the Operation Zeta. And then once I do that, I'm going all the way through New, New Vegas again. Only further, it was like, God damn, did they put a lot of this. It, the, the show is live action. Again, most of my like of the show is because of how accurately they translated the games. And a lot of my problems were writing and character decisions. And even those writing and character decisions are fucking game references, game plots. The whole time when I'm like, Maximus is an idiot. And then they release his stats on Fallout Shelter and his intelligence is a four. I'm like, oh, he is an idiot. He's literally an idiot with a seven strength, which is why, yeah, it's like, okay, that makes sense. That yeah, I didn't like it though. I know. Yeah, Mister House makes a cameo. Vegas makes a cameo. Sinclair from the Sierra Madre. All those people at the end in Vault Tech, they're all from the games. Uh, the guy from Big Mountain who runs the Sierra Madre in New Vegas, and then the House makes a joke about it. That's a fucking deep cut joke. That is a deep cut joke. Um, real quick, just because we were talking about um, this, is just more of like, yep, you can't take losses like this. Publisher take two, 500 employees, gone. Several projects in development, gone. Your sister Staffordshire, China, gone. <laughs> Our hope for uh, raids in Red Dead 2, gone. Man, God, they, they did not shit in Red Dead They too. didn't get shit. We thought we'd get raids and all those things like we did eventually. Or, or uh, Heist, what's going on, Trashy Drifter? We did not. Um, I have no problem oh. saying it is a good television. I, Ah, do I have a problem saying that? Fuck. Because the problem is I have to qualify it. So can do I, is it a good television? It's like, I have yes. no problem saying that The Gentleman yes. is a good television show. I guess I do have a problem saying The Fallout is a good show because I like it for reasons that I don't think most people will share. Like, of the people that have not played yeah, any of the Fallout and games and just watched game. it, yeah, like, only one person was like, yeah, I like it, even not knowing anything about the game. Everyone else was like, ah, I'm sort of confused. I don't know. I like it though, and I keep watching it. It's, I'm so conflicted, but at least it's something, right? At least it's something. I don't know. Yeah, I know, and we noticed it. In G I noticed it in GTA Online outside the what's the? Tr it's like a tranny club uh, downtown uh, oh, near like shit. the office buildings we have. I want, it's like cock knockers or some joke like that, and they had tranny NPCs outside of the club. They removed those a couple years ago. They removed those a couple years ago for obvious reasons. I can guess what people were maybe doing, that's <laughs> but exclusivity. that's how it starts. I sort of, you know what? It, thank, I think this really highlights though, is that the fallout community itself is split as you see, obviously in the chat and, and it was earlier uh, on nerd rage today. It's people that like the first two fallouts in new Vegas. And then they don't like anything by Bethesda. They certainly hate fallout to 76, which granted had a horrible launch, it's been six years content's been added if you don't like online i get that but like they don't like fallout 3 they don't like fallout 4 and i get a lot of those criticisms at least with, at least with four yes new vegas has the superior dialogue options and more intricate factions and storyline interweaving which i appreciate i love a voice protagonist i didn't have the same issues with that but i do understand the like yes no lack of dialogue with those i wish they had given us all the meat 
and giving it to us raw. No, giving us all the meat of New Vegas with the voice acting of, and I get that's more money, but it really just comes down to that divide. People who have no idea about the games and watch the shit, people that watch the games and know all of them and watched it, and people that like are like fuck half of Fallout and they only like the first two in New Vegas and watched it. And then there's the Those people, the people who, who heard have the that biggest there's, problem. A, there's a settlement that needs your help. You tell Preston Garvey to fook off. Oh, that's what I wanted to add. I'm sorry. Who asked me earlier? John, the other Jonathan, who may or may not be this Jonathan, who I've never been able to side, even though you see them sometimes in the same. Uh, not beyond him to have two computers. What mods are in my mod list for Fallout 3? So I'll be honest with you. Right now, I'm doing everything. Well, that's not entirely true. I'm doing everything unmodded with the exception of I put a uh, a mod for dog meat so he can't die or he gives him like as much like nine 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 health. So he's almost immortal, but uh, I haven't even come. I, like I said, I'm already on the DLC and I still, cause dog meets a random event. As far as I remember, I've yet to come across his character. So I might make it through the entire, um, <laughs> the entire game and not actually get dog meat this time. Unfortunately, I know, but I am going to probably do a full modded, but I wanted to do like, cause everyone talks shit on the vanilla playthroughs. I was like, I, let me see how this holds up straight up unmodded but like game of the year editions ultimate edition patches on a modern pc and so far it's holding up really well i'm not missing mods my problem is i've played these games so many times yeah that every time i start well, one I, I turn it off see my problem is that even though i've played far cry 3 or four, why do we keep saying far cry 3 when i'm talking about i played fallout 3 uh, like three or four times, it, it has been a decade since those playthroughs and I, uh, playthroughs, and I've played New Vegas and four all the way through much, much more recently. So Fallout Three, for the most part, was pretty, pretty new. And the first time I really played Fallout Three, I found you're, like, spoiler, you're looking for your father. I found him by accident. I didn't even fall. Like I accidentally found him somewhere, and it threw off. So this time I played it according to the actual um, quest level. These are bro, super cheap right now. No fucking lies detected. Far Cry 3 is goaded. Jason Brody is like the best Great. protagonist of all the Far Cry games. I still like there were several times where I was like, fuck yeah. And then the character said it. And I was like, oh, we're synchronized. We're synchronized. Like the music playing when you burn the weed. Yeah. Far Cry 3 is goaded if you've never played it. Like they sort of got worse, but for sure. And uh, Voss is like one of the greatest. Did I ever tell you? The definition of insanity. So agree, bro. And then of course he went on to do all the um, Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. So that villain, at least. Now the London thing looks great. They said it's so big that the giggity that it's never going to be a console release, even if like Bethesda gave it, you know, like for creation uh, kit or whatever they have their like mod official mod thing. Yeah, I am looking forward to possibly playing London. Um, the the uh the dog dog meats are like the only ones that will never judge you 100%. Um uh, but ba, ba, ba. they have the AR15 in New Vegas. They have a couple of real world guns that probably shouldn't have been That's the other thing is New Vegas. It's like it's not like New Vegas wasn't without its own lore uh differences and changes. But uh, also those were sort of more faithful to the original Fallout games which did have more like real world guns without the the differences and uh you know what i could never get in this the only far cry game i never played all the way through it, i not because it was set in africa but because it was one of those ones where the checkpoint system was like jesus christ every 30 seconds i was fighting a uh like a border guard opened a fucking gate like one of those things and it just it made progress so yeah so that's why i just just stayed a far cry 3 and blood that dragon a deep cut it was a deep cut. It, I wonder if anyone will get that one. No one. Um, no one will get that deep cut. Yeah. Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. Uh, I actually like Primal for what it is and 4 for what it is. Um, I don't know. So, okay. Sorry. Let's real quick finish this because we did go into bullshitting real quick. Uh, that timeline. Remember, we were on the timeline of what happens. So, we went to the, – they introduced the, the ESG DEI. Uh, everyone reacted. People came in and attacked them. Or at least partially. Uh, and here we have the boycott and people uh, dropping. And th this is not a joke. A lot of people, uh, I was reading these comments. I read all the comments, shockingly, because I am I do what I'm. everyone tells me not to do when I read the comments, even the hate ones. 
there are people that have been like, oh, I've been, I've been doing this for 20, 30 years. This is it for me. I'm bouncing out. I'm checking out. Like maybe I'll still play it, but I'm just going to 3D print. Uh, shout out to my 3D printers and you, Mr. Tech. Hey, you want to start 3D printing these models for people? You're going to make yeah. a lot of business because I'd people like are just going to start doing it on their own. Yeah. Much like what has happened with uh, Wizards of the Coast, with um, uh, their shit over there, people are just playing older versions of the codexes, older versions of the rule books and sets. And they're just, they're 3D uh, custom printing their own custodies. Custodies. Canonically, I just like randomly saying the words that uh, other streamers have had problems uh, saying. Like Niantic? Niantic. Niantic, Niantic. I've heard it both ways. I yelled at the screen. I I, I said it, and then uh, today on the stream, I said uh, Niantic several times, just in, just in case, but I did go Niantic, yeah. Yeah, now and days. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh so since we were talking about fallout we did get clarifications uh from todd and jonathan nolan and um a couple other people okay so it's, people wanted to talk about this so let's go back we're still talking about fallout that's how that is how big look look at it. we're still they're still talking about mods so we've left nothing oh that's from uh far cry 2 yeah the malaria was annoying in the gun the guns jamming. This is from uh yeah the 20th century weapons mod for uh all the fallouts. I'm done with that. A lot of the confusion and I think a lot of the anger and even um this morning when we were going on about this on Nerd Rage and someone um Moki shout out to them uh, they were trying to like what about this continuity? What about this continuity? The big one is everyone saying that uh if Shady Sands is destroyed in 2277 that that retcons everyone talking about it and referencing it in New Vegas, which takes place in 2281. And I blame this on that fucking billboard in Vault 4 where it had an arrow going through and it said the, the fall of Shady Sands. And it, But that's like the start. It's not at the exact date. So it started in 2277, which you, if you know your Fallout lore, you would know that 2277 is the date of the first battle of Hoover Dam between the NCR and the Caesar's Legion, Caesar's Legion, if you want to be cunty. And uh, you would know that they took significant losses. So this just me, and, and it's referenced in New Vegas that the NCR is has vast corruption through senators and wealthy Brahmin barons, basically. And that uh, even though the NCR is multiple states and over 700,000 strong, uh, they were starting to have issues. So by 2296, when the show happens, and also pointed out on the billboard that says the, the first capital of the NCR, well, why are you going to mention the first one if there's not already a second? So that's the other thing is it's highly probable that even by the time it's destroyed, Shady Sands is not the capital of the NCR. The NCR is still well and fine in Northern California and other states. It's only LA, the Boneyard specifically, that NCR no longer has a significant uh, presence in, but they do still have a presence, which is what Moldaver and her Moldover, whatever her uh, her her remnant MCR troops are there at the end. Yeah, okay, Jesus. Now that I've given a, for a show that I'm like a six out of ten, and I have a lot of problems with. Boy, I find myself fucking ex maybe not defending, but explaining. Like, if you're gonna be upset about something, let's at least be upset about shit that's not actually there. Um, Boom, my brother, my brother, uh, Lod. Thank you, Lod six eight nine. Lod, let me know. Do you want me to put the numbers after, or are you okay with just Lod? Because sometimes I know Ryan on Geeks and Gamers, he just says Lod. He doesn't say 689. I was like, but what if there's other Lods? We have to say Fast. which Lod it is. Shout out to Lod 689, gifting five, making people go green, making people go green. Uh, thank you. Thank you, brother. Yeah, doesn't matter. Ryan hates numbers in the name. Yep, that's what I thought. Okay, so who got him? Reinhardt, green now, Westward. Green now, look, oh, oh, with great, with great badger emoji responsibility comes great power. Yeah, legend, you really are. Or Lod, you really are a legend. I'll just call you legend. Lod, the legend. Why did you come for me? <laughs> so basically, the, uh, this was just a bunch of confirmations that all the games happened. Don't worry, uh, Shady Sands is destroyed essentially uh, right after 
New Vegas. So I think the majority of people are upset because, yes, the final episode of Fallout, when you you see Hank land on the outskirts of vegas and you see vegas it's still there but it's not shining it's not bright uh you could see some settlements on the outskirt with smoke and you can see so like clearly there's still life but it is not what it was but, it was, but again yeah. it has been 14 years and if Ooch. we go by the oh, i almost i almost said a gamer word but my naysayer my nutella uh he's <laughs> my you piece of shit for making me watch uh we went we've been having a good uh day today inside of the uh <laughs> the twitter uh, group chat for watching part two of rebel moon i if we're making each other laugh this hard in the group chat i will tell you you're definitely going to want to show up to the conversation this coming wednesday on diabolical souls channel so shout out to gooch <laughs> bro him and Vex and Little Platoon and, Out? and Outcast Creative, yeah, 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 making uh. me laugh my ass off. The, the Rebel Moon wasn't nothing good about that, but, yeah, but yeah. at least we are going to have a good conversation about that on Wednesday. Um, yeah. So the end result of uh, of Fallout is, uh, I think, once you realize that a lot of the things people are upset about actually aren't retcons; they're just story progression, and uh, how much worse it could have been, and just it's. I'm grateful for it. I'm looking forward to season two. I'm looking forward to seeing what has happened to Vegas. Oh, that was the ultimate point is the whole point of the, sh the show. If you take nothing away from what the show said, it's that vault tech is still around and their whole plan was to outweigh every other civilization that might spring up from the brotherhood of steel to the NCR to the, they, everyone and wipe yeah. them out somehow. And so, well over a hundred vaults regardless right regardless of who controlled new vegas someone from vault tech was going to go nah bro and wipe that out and unless unless we we, we got to see who's there because obviously he might i think they might be going with the mr house in my in which case there might be a very different reason so i don't know i'm far more curious about this and i at this point when giving them far more here's the one thing i have been proven is this is not made by like one person on set that knew fallout this is like the majority of people on this set like fallout and honestly they might like fallout to a, the detriment is that they put in so many references that even like it's taking people like videos to read like oh that's why they did that that's why that happened they might have gone too deep they might have gone full and you never go full but they went full um i'm happy for it but again it feels selfish <laughs> Phil, so as a as a as someone who loves all the games, I'm eating pretty well looking at this total world, even if I have issues with some of the character decisions. Um, yeah, I don't know. Looking forward to the second season, though. I am. Yeah, I'd like to see them, like for instance, I'd like to see him be less dumb. And well, and, I don't unless no, he puts in. Um, oh, I forgot what the fuck because I just kept using it. It's a. Uh, I think it's like intense training or something like that. It's a perk you can right. use that'll let you uh, do one of your base uh, stats up. And uh, I got fucking like super overpowered very quickly in Fallout 3 doing that. But yeah, he needs to get that intelligence stat up 100%. Um, Lord, you're my official Fallout lore guy, Badger. You've explained things. That's my guys. Thank you. Uh, 100%. And uh, but yeah, no, there were some bangers. Wednesday definitely will be posting on when that stream is going to happen but that is really going to be good and uh by all means i'm no i i, I uh, okay here's the only reason i i know lore is that i'm one of those assholes that actually stops and reads all the notes and listens to all the recordings and all that and i will sit there just going through either the fallout lore subreddit or like at the time the fallout wiki i'm not sure how accurate that is anymore but just like because even though you know the lore seriously getting everything lined up can be a challenge but but when you do watch it especially like it is pretty it's pretty tight con concise lore there's, there's room there's room yeah, yeah apparently that's why people keep this my excitement and i'm not even on peruvian marching powder much to my much to my chagrin also to my chagrin hey rat how's your character doing i know you've still been playing this i you never actually i went did, in and i did looked. you survive is it potato quality now? So <clears throat> there is there is a little bit of hope. You can do a little bit of something. In your character customizing, um, under body type, 
you can ship the shoulders, the chest, the waist. There is a a slide meter, so you can you can adjust a little bit. Because my shoulders were all slumped down and shit. That's what this seems to be. It's there a, are yeah. seven different faces to choose from, and I would say one of them could be considered a a feminine man, but none of them look like a man. Sorry. Um, you got yeah. stuck on the powder. By the way, uh, Irwin's sister apparently also had this happen. Doesn't know anything about DEI or anything, but just like, oh, yeah, they made her ugly and, and uh, lesbiana. lesbiana. Uh, let me just answer this, Charlie. Uh, yes, it, it the show follows New Vegas. Everything that happened in New Vegas is canon. Now, it is ambiguous as to which ending is canon. Either it's – I don't think it's Caesar's Legion, and I don't think it's NCR – I sort of think it's the house, but either way, Vegas was not. So in the 14 years since New Vegas, something has happened so that the power is not on. Um, we will find out. But yes, everything that happened in Fallout New Vegas is canon. Is canon. And this is not canon. I, I almost downloaded the game again just to see how much it butchered my character. I refuse. I, I much like all these characters, out of canon. I refuse. Yeah. Refuse to even acknowledge it. I will totally ostrich put my head in the sand, even though I don't actually think ostriches do that. I'm not sure. So, almost done with this saga. We have four more things that we just go right back to bullshitting. In the the completion of the saga of attacking fans when you change things for DEI and they call you on it, the shills come out. The shills come out. In this in this case, Bell of Lost Souls attacks Warhammer 40k fans. It's big, shocking that you would call anyone into Warhammer Dark Grim, where everyone is horrible, <laughs> violent. That you would call them bigots. But yeah, uh, everyone correctly saying that we don't want this shit got called the thing. And this is the one where going through everyone's um, tweets, comments, where it's like this is just normal people that. Don't want to be called bigots. That a lot of people I saw in my comments are like, "What's DEI?" They don't even know what this is. And again, this ultimately goes to, goes to, and this is where it fully confirmed me that the because the custodies are Henry's favorite faction, because they are OP, and they are a lot of people's favorite faction, because there is like a ninety nine percent chance that that this is going to be central to the live action show. This is exactly what Marvel does. They take a comic that they have done, an already corrupted, like 10 in the last 10 years comic, change something they know is not popular, so that the one and only time they do reference lore or the comic, they go, Oh, see, we did it in the comics. There's a female custodian in the comics, there's always been. And uh, I, I'm very interested to see how Henry reacts to this. How Henry reacts to this. Warhammer, and that's, they're not, that's the thing. They're not thinking with their, they're thinking. They, because it could be, how can we say that they're doing it for ESG money if they're not thinking for money? So clearly at some level, they are thinking about money, but they don't want our corrupted, dirty, bigot money. They want that nice, clean, easy access ESG money that all they have to do is check boxes. And it falls in line with their ideologically possessed mindset, woke mind virus, blah, blah, blah. The problem with that is then that shit elevates to a whole nother level. And that's sort of what Drinker talks about in his video that I'm reacting to tomorrow that like, this is just like to them, it's like, oh, we got another one from you. We got another one from you. I saw this in the comments of someone too who's talking about like, you better hope that that's all we take. Now it's just vindictive fucking white guy tears type of thing, bigot tears type of thing. Uh, so it's all of that. It's all of that. And it, again, them doing it so blatant and out in the open. Yeah. And by the how way, how long can you get away with it? 5% BlackRock, 5% Vanguard, 10% total uh, ESG. Yeah. There it is. And again, as they've told you, these are the same people that, and, well, and obviously the answer to your question right there, rat is not fucking very long, which is why they've had this immediate pushback, which is why some asshole that doesn't even know about this, but is just covering the infiltration got those views that I did is because this is the wrong, this is the wrong one, homies. You, if you pick the wrong one, with Lord of the Rings fans, you picked, you, you really picked the, the wrong one with Warhammer fans. And I knew that to begin with, but the, but that just goes to show that they're so fucking uh, actual culty that they would go and mess with like the fanatic of all fanatics and Anybody. and our and our great friend great dead pulio who can't go three seconds without screaming for the emperor or heresy about anything yeah not the right group to fuck with it's 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 like hell divers on crack like that that embracing of lore and joking around 
Um, and, and the, oh, the Tomb Raider thing is retarded. They they went from like, oh, she's an unrealistic beauty standard to oh, that's like this is straight up a fucking apology for colonialism or some shit like that. She's a truth seeker now. She's not even going to be going into tombs. Uh, the only tomb we will have is for Games Workshop, yes, because people will just be three D printing the models and they'll just be playing the older printing out the older co uh, codexes and they'll just ignore all this. And um, here we are to today. Here we are to today. We're still on Pokemon. Okay, so here's the thing. It, I started talking about this. It is sort of a reality show now. As we're covering this and we're going day by day, and it is sort of like, what uh, what story twist will the simulation take now? And I did, And while I knew about this, I woke up and I saw the story. I was like, oh, we got a bingo. We got a bingo. You ever heard of Gamer X? I love like the way it's spelled. I love the way it's spelled. Now, Gamer X, I was very familiar with because they, uh, bro, we can, that's the whole point. Chad is king. We can go off topic all you want. There's three videos left, and then we're going to go right back to any topic we want bullshitting for like 30 minutes or whatever. Um, this came out. So, Gamer X, I only knew about them because they're the ones that were defending Sweet Baby Inc. during the early days. Like all the consultancy companies came out to like dime themselves out by like, oh, what are you talking about? And so I was waiting for something that Gamer X to actually be involved in. Well, fucking shocker, Gamer X is involved with Niantic. And uh, this is also in addition to a, um, would you believe another community manager who looks like the very characters that everyone else now does? Potato shaped. Potato? Yeah. Potato shaped, lesbiana, uggification of a character. Yeah. Uh, I just want to see, but here, here we go. Just, um, grooms. <laughs> so, so fucking, please. I hope that's not how he wants it to be said. Um, yeah, I, I want to be called X. I call X gender is gone. Replaced by a hodgepodge of androgynous options. Uh, nothing can be too feminine or too male. Yeah. Charles, we talked about that. She watches all of us and she's not just, she doesn't just watch hypnotic in his streams yeah she continuously blocks and unblocks uh grums for sure is is gamer x related to director x oh my god you look goofy <laughs> you summoned him you summoned him that was a deep cut that was a deep cut <laughs> yeah but this is really this is also the one that made me fully confirm for a while there i was sort of believing the lie that when they do this it was like oh it's because they have a whole thing about unrealistic body standards no they don't want to offend the 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 queer people that they think are like 99 percent of the earth instead of 0. 0.000 something one or whatever so that's why they have everyone and you know what i'll say this about hell divers too there's no male or female there is only a body type a and b and um uh, it's hard to unsee it once you've seen it. It's hard to unsee it once you've seen it. Game ranks, I don't want to. <laughs> Almost done. And this is another one that someone talked about. I think of Charles that said, I'm getting tired of it. Yeah, me too. Mech Warrior. And again, more, more grooms. I grums. love that sticker on the left. Yeah. By the way, that's real. That's not even a joke. Yeah, no, I know. Their 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 pride anthology 2023 because again, in a time of war, a futuristic war, that is what uh, you had queer tales from the inner sphere. That's what that is right there. Um, just to bring it up, just briefly, that yes, fucking bottom of the barrel. Oh, he might not have known about that one. Yep, oh, no, Mech Warrior. Sorry, I'll bring it back up just to because I'm a rage farmer. Remember, hey, you didn't care about that, did you? I have Mech Warrior 5, by the way. I was trying to get it. It's super complicated, even on... <laughs> yeah. You didn't know about that? Here, hold on. Let me... I'll do it off screen, uh, and I'll bring up the actual... Bring up the actual thing. I just don't... don't I don't want to dox myself. Um, I have people do that for free. All right. So, here's <sighs> Grums. <laughs> here's that. Like, uh, they turned Mech Warrior gay. Yesterday, Battletech publisher at Catalyst Game Lab, community managers freak out and mass block many Battletech fans, including at DriveThru RPG Creator and uh, uh, the Otter Pops in Blind Rage. This is the sad tale of Battletech's descent into madness. 
First, they started firing conservative authors. We've seen that before. The defending violent woke contributors against said uh, right officers or uh, right contributors. Uh, defending doxing contractors. Hostile takeover of the BattleTech subreddit, which almost all of the subreddit is a fucking anyway. Moss Eisley. He will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. Takeover of the demo team Discord. We're finding all the discords basically taking over. Uh, thanks to Mage Leader and, of course, Razor Fist for their insights and permission to post screen caps. But there we go. That's I thought that was a joke, by the way. This is real. Battletech Pride Anthology 2023. Trans rights or eye bites. Uh, queer tales from the interface. It's like, it's laughable. It's laughable. And it's bullshit, and it's gone everywhere. I, I'm I sorry. understand. I feel so bad, Trash. He did not mean to rage you. I thought. I assume some people. Nobody know about watching your videos. Yeah, I don't. You know, when watching my videos, that's why. That's why it's fun to do a recap. Yeah, it is only getting worse, and it's going to get worse. It's going to get worse until it gets better. But I do believe it will get better. It's, but it takes. I'm sorry, but unfortunately, this is the level of outrage that needs to happen across the board. People need to get needs to get bad. I need to go outside and say, I'm not gonna take this anymore. But there's because a until difference. that level of animus actually happens, until the people that are like, What do you care? What's the big deal? And those though until those people are um drowned out by the people are, are that are like tired of for lack of a better term, getting fucked in the ass continuously by the big dildo of the message without lube, till they're tired of that happening. It's just going to keep happening. Thankfully, a growing, growing number of people are saying, can you stop fucking me in the ass without lube with the great dildo of the message? Let's see if Imagine that gets demonetized. Imagine making your own shit. <laughs> like, everyone, well, has iron fan, everyone has fan fiction. That is the Why Iron do you Fist. you have to turn it uh, into? Razor Fist. <laughs> Razor Fist Iron Age of like, yeah, fuck you. Well, I'll just make our own thing. You have well, I'll to. just make our own thing. <sighs> Speaking of something in my own thing, I, I I do just want to point this out. It's the last video of the day, and then we're free to to play and do whatever we want. They came after Sydney Sweeney, and by they, I mean an ugly older woman, <laughs> washout producer who probably doesn't do anything in the industry anymore. But I just wanted to post it uh, about the hypocrisy, not just because I wanted the excuse to have AI Sydney Sweeney's breasts in the thumbnail or to have this, because I don't actually think this has the luster it used to. But I do want to point out that, could you imagine if they released an article about like, nah, I don't get why Pedro Pascal is so popular. I don't get why insert black woman here is popular. They're not attractive. Would never fucking happen. But pretty blonde white girl with the nice tits? Nope. We can lambase her just like we lambase Chris Pratt. <sighs> Sorry. Sydney Sweeney cleanse. Sydney Sweeney cleanse. I'm stealing it from him. We hypnotic. need more Sydney. I I think the other thing was her, as we talked about that all the time, is authenticity. She seems she seems pretty authentic. Uh, I think in that all of Madam Webb. She was one of the only people to actually like read the comic her character was based on, even if we only saw her in the costume for 30 seconds. Uh, the best thing I've seen about the craziness going on is a video from Side Scrollers. Ark was explaining how the socialist doctrine was formed by the leader that Mussolini overthrew. It's pretty wild. Yeah, that's unfortunately is the more you get into it, the deeper and older uh consistent this ideology has been around and then you're like oh it just never stopped it just never stopped it just kept hiding and uh like that demon that hops from one body to another it's just sort of always been around you're talking about my ex oh <laughs> hey oh boobies will save the world i can just about take the message but not dry yeah bro like at least be nice about it like I'm not saying that Fallout didn't have the message in it, but they at least fucking had a little KY on it. They didn't go in, they didn't go in fucking, they weren't uh, Will Smithing it and killing it behind clapping cheeks. But that was again another Geeks and Gamers in the morning. If that, <laughs> when uh, I think it was Jeremy and Ryan reading the, the leaker of Will Smith <laughs> getting clapped by some dude and he walked into the trailer, their reaction. Sometimes it's funny just watching Jeremy die from laughter. Uh, again, shout out Geeks and Gamers. There you go. That's the one. Spam them of maybe one day I'll get to go on a Geeks and Gamers in the morning. Everyone talking about Friday Night Tights. Geeks and Gamers in the morning is the real 
is the Let's real one it. you want to try and <laughs> no they only want girls on now <laughs> they, they had some good chicks now you can look pretty there's always time for lubricant yeah i'm not here to be easy on the eyes for anyone I'll tell you that much yeah thank you westworld just murdering them just murder if you say just murdering with them uh <laughs> they will both just start laughing yeah shout out to the 199 Hey, did uh, Craig do his Lord of the Rings watch through yet? I think he might have. He, I think, I think he said he was going to. If he did, shout out! Fucking so lucky, so lucky to have for the first time see the Lord of the Rings. Um, all right, we're gonna go five more minutes. We're gonna go until Leon goes live, and then everyone is gonna go raid Words of Paradise. But he's not going live for another five minutes. Mm -hmm. So until then, here. I don't, I think you have to set up like allowing yourself to be raided. So wait five minutes and then we're all gonna raid uh our boy Leona. He actually has a good if you've never gone to his channel, if you don't know who Words of Paradise, he's one of Hypnotics boys. He's on every Saturday night hypnosis. Really cool dude, does his neon Leon streams, which is what I believe this is, and streams every Monday. So yeah. make sure to check him out. Good shit. And uh, this is how we do it. This is how. Remember, we share the audience. We all jump back and forth. I'm going to be in that chat, too. Um, thank you, everyone, obviously. As he, I just was on there, and it wasn't. I just posted it in the chat. Either way, if he is, then fine. Just jump over there, then. I don't think he is, though. He will be, though. He will be. He said going live at 10.15. It's 10.11, at least on the heathen time. And, yeah, I, I mean... I think everyone here, I think all 16 people here are, in fact, uh, subscribed to the channel. Thank you. We're actually close to 3,200. But if you are not, okay, fine. Favore. Everyone's Fight Club mission this week is to get one friend to subscribe to Badger. Yeah. Yeah. Nerd Rage Fight Club. Yeah. And then uh, tomorrow, it will be Nerd Rage uh, in the morning. So make sure we're going to have a good old stream there. Uh, we got a bunch. Make sure to, to like and sub again. You know, uh, oh, well, then I'll shut look my it. mouth. There you go. Don't look, look it. it. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, what are you going to do? But yeah, Nerve Rage tomorrow on uh, Irwin's channel, oh. 10 a.m. Heathen happy time. Thanksgiving to all my herbal citizens, by the way. Yes. And for Tony, I, I offered to grift uh, the smoking of Mary of the Marijuana, but apparently uh, Irwin is very scared of the algorithm not liking that. And so. <laughs> I I guess we will not be doing that, but I will be enjoying and celebrating 420 tomorrow. I don't know about you in the chat. Either way, tomorrow will be very interesting. Well, we'll be talking about all the things, all the fun things, all the autistic uh, autism. Oh, and that's the other thing. It's one of his documentaries is coming out tomorrow or later today. Yes. So right after Nerd Rage, we will be, it, it's going to go right into the premiere of his documentary so we can all stay around and bullshit for that. Go check out his alien broadcast. Sure. Sure. And then, uh, all right, everyone. Oh, hold on. Wait. I hope to see you on SNH. Yeah, yeah. So, Erwin uh, is always busy. It's very rare. Can do it. I always tell Hypnotic, hey, man, I'm free whenever you want. I got no problem being a regular on that show. He just has a lot of regulars, and they're all ready. So, some of them have to uh, be able to be doing something else or call out. You're and the then, fun substitute means, so teacher. But uh, yeah, I'm the fun substitute teacher. But all means also, if you want to see me on any shows, helps to tell them in the comments and or super chat that, hey, when are you going to have Badger on again? Because uh, 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 otherwise, you know, sometimes it just doesn't happen. But either way, thank you. I really do appreciate it. Uh, go over there now to uh, Leon's channel. There you go. We'll all raid and make fun of him. Make sure to tell him that the Badger and the Rat sent you, or certainly Badger. Uh, I think he knows who you are, Mr. Tech Rat. I'm sure. Of course. He, if he doesn't, he should. Um, we'll about to find but, out yeah. and then we will see you tomorrow on nerd rage so thank you everyone thank you we don't have an outro yet that's what i have to work on but uh, working on for it. now we'll just smile and wave since i'm the only asshole that can you could see smile thank you all wave, have everyone. a good week smile and bye everyone